Strong sound again. Who can remind me our discussion question yesterday? Oh, wow, here's what? Uh, the, dis the discussion. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not <laughs> the discussion question yesterday was why does the chapter wait? Why um the chapter we read? How does that matter in 2016 to teens today? Good. All right. So, what are some important points that people brought up yesterday that we remember? Oh. Jackie Robertson's. This is the only one I remember, mainly. Now, don't feel left out the three of you, but Ayana said now, that Bull had a grudge against Victor, that's why he was bullying him. Um, since Trinity didn't talk so much yesterday, I choose you, Trinity. Go, use talk. Um, I remember Ayana had said um, that bully is bully because they're getting bullied. That was me. I can't I'm so sorry, but I I can't remember what you all said. But the first about two minutes of what Jaquan I remember about the first two minutes of what Jaquan said. Like he was talking about what does it matter? He said I think he said it matters because like if it matters because in the real in the real world you can get bullied the same the same way as you get bullied in that book. So oh, uh, I just did one. Okay. Get everybody warmed up and let us be for sure, Brian. We're just gonna start off with something that well just leave off with something that we were talking about yesterday. Um first start off what we what we both what, what all of us mostly said, I don't know exactly what I'm not gonna go work for anybody, but like most of us were talking about like the reason why this is important in the real world because most teens today, they either get bullied by other teens at school, and that's why they, and that's why it's so relative to what's going on in that book and what's going on. Does anyone add to that thought? Just to close this up. Back around it. Okay, I agree with Jake Pond because I actually had a similar answer. Because, you know, like I said before, and I kind of remember this because I replay the punches in my mind. Anyway. I said that teenagers, um, like, bull represents an, like a large percentage of teenage bullies because, like he said in this small passage, bull was bull said that he was either that he was bullied by his grandpa because he knows that his fist, that grandpa's fist hurt, and so that kind of means like most bullies are either wounded by someone close to them, or like someone that um that was just like they knew. And that was just being bullied, like, because I knew this one girl at the hospital when I was in there that was bullied by her grandpa, or to the point where she had to go to the hospital. She really had really bad thoughts. Really true. That's another point. Can someone kind of add and just tie it all together and wrap it up? Jason, go ahead. Yes. Okay. So hey, people. Um, anyways, hey you too. Um, my brain is translating this stuff. It's an overdrive right now. But what happened in the story is, I think Bull and oh, the other, up our I, know, yeah. I, I think Bull in this book and other 2016 teenagers either bully or get bullied because either the person that's bullying them got hurt or they just want to do it for fun to make themselves feel better about something that they don't got or don't have, or they might be jealous. And that's why I think in 2016, bullying will be a major problem. Good, so thanks so much, Jason, for kind of tying all that together and concluding what we talked about yesterday. I know we have some more to add, but we're gonna move on. That's all so much to learn some of So we learned some of those new things once we kind of moved on and started learning about Bull and his life and his point of view on what was going on. So now that we've learned more about Bull, it kind of changed our perspective about him, huh? Reading about Bull on page five, how did that change our thoughts and feelings towards Bull? Oh, it's okay if we have to refresh ourselves in the text for a second. I do. But how did reading page five change our experience as readers? Wow. 
-hmm. And I want to see here at first, I thought, and then how did it change once we kind of got it in a dialogue track, Ayana, please. At first, we, I thought he was just a, a mean, a nasty, a horrible, yes. a disgusting, mm -hmm. still is, great varmint. What is it, varmint? So the critters who think that they just get very, very disgusting. Um, animals are not disgusting. So, humans are disgusting for how we treat them. <laughs> Respect for the animals. That, that's what I first thought. But then I actually felt kind of sorry for him. Yes. Because in the text, it states that uh, 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 I know the only important thing about pops are his fits. They are big and they hurt. But I never tell him that. This shows that how, how does he know that they hurt unless he's experienced them or he felt them like before Thank you. in his life? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So what does that evidence reveal? Oh, truly, truly. I want to see if we agree that evidence kind of created a change. What are some new thoughts on your face? Okay. I'm not trying to say that you're wrong, but I don't, I don't see the change. Ooh, not what? yet. Um... Like, I, like at the beginning, I thought that bully was kind of a bad person Forever? since he was messing with Victor a lot. But y'all yeah, remember when one of us had came up to the conclusion that um Victor probably that bull probably knew Victor a long time ago and they made friends at one time. Me and that's what I honestly. No, that's actually what I said. So you so reading about bull, reading about bull and Victor and Victor and Victor reading Bull's point of view did not change your opinion of him. I want to hear a couple more responses on this week. Uh, with Ayana, Robert. Oh, you can't do what you think of any other opinion. I don't really know what any other opinion. Okay, let's hear your opinion. I think after reading the um, chapter about Victor, that, um, like, I thought that he was like really mean, but I was like, they you gotta thought it be. Was mean. Huh? You thought it was mean? Yeah. Who, do you, who did you think was me? Bull. Bull, okay. Bull. But, like, during that whole time, I always thought that they always have a backstory behind the bullet. So after I read Bull, I was like, um, the chapter Bull, I was like, you're not that bad because he experiences stuff, and I think that he feels like nobody cares about him to ask him what's going on, what's going on, like, acting like this. So it didn't change things for you because... You never really had bad thoughts about Bull. Even while we were reading Victor's point of view, you were like, oh, yeah, even really though this guy pants him so many times, maybe there's something else wrong. So Trinity kind of already made that prediction. What do you think, Robert? Um, I actually um, felt to, towards Bull right now. The first time, I thought Bull was just kind of so, sort of barbaric because an average bully wouldn't just takes down someone's pants and underwear and actually see a boy or a girl. And and he was also kind of really, really, um, how shall I say, stone hearted. Taurus. And then now, Taurus. now after I've read this, Taurus, do the hand. Now, after I've sort of um, read this passage. It doesn't really change. I still think he's sort of barbaric, no matter what happened to him. But I still think that now I feel like it's more clear of his intentions because I feel like now is more reasons of how, why he does it to Victor. Okay. So either way, I think it seems like some of us experienced different shifts or maybe not one at all once we started hearing about stuff from Bull's point of view. But either way, we learned so much more once we read page five about Bull that can kind of help us see pages two through four a little bit differently. Because now that I know Bull's point of view, I know his character a little bit differently. Everyone flip to page four, please. I mean, sorry, page two. Page one. It is the best two. Can someone please read for me our assignment for the day? Read it for me, Loud and Proud Nation. Oh, she's in the stone spot. We write a paragraph on page two through four from Bull's point of view. Make sure to include background information on page five. Interpretation. So now that I've read page five, like I said, two through four might look a little bit different to me. So what I'm going to do is I reread pages two through four as things the same. 
what might be going on in Bull's head right now? What's his inner dialogue based off of what I know about him? So afterwards, we're going to rewrite from there. So go ahead, annotate pages two through four for what Bull might be thinking at the time. 